RoboCop, a trilogy of films that came out in the late 80s and early 90s. It quickly became a cult classic, but today I'm going to be diving into the new game RoboCop Rogue City. It released in 2023 on the PS5, Xbox Series X and PC. Just like in the films, we'll be taking control of Alex Murphy as we lay down the law in Detroit. Alex is a cop that was brutally shot down while on patrol. To save his life, he was transformed into a cyborg, otherwise known as RoboCop. The trophy list is pretty straightforward as long as you complete all of the side missions and do a decent amount of exploring, you shouldn't have too much issue unlocking all 28 trophies. And if you do miss anything, the game saves at every new chapter, allowing you to easily clean up loose ends. More games really should do this. Honestly, I was pleasantly surprised at how much I enjoyed the game. So join me in earning Robocop's Platinum Trophy. Here we go. Let's play some Robocop Rogue City. Oh, it's got new game plus as well. New main campaign. Quite a normal. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last lap of the reservation. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, oh, our I'm such a child. Wait, this guy kind of looks like the uh, the, the dude who sang that song that his... Twisted Fire starts up. Heard... Let's get you up here. Oh my god, you see his legs then. Let's get you up here. His legs and body were like disconnecting or something. Officer. After the game intro, I admired how freaking beautiful this game looked. Yes, yeah, probably because I'm walking around, mate. <laughs> Wonder how much Robocop actually weighs. He must weigh a freaking ton. Cats everywhere. He's gonna push it off. <laughs> He's oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. That's cats for you. you right, fellas, you're doing a good job there. I think he's dead. I mean, he's definitely dead. Channel 9 News. Hard feelings! Oh. Alright. Lovely. Hey, Jesus. Alright, in we go. I rate that mohawk. That's a badass mohawk. We're gonna have to shoot him in the face, but I do like his mohawk. Oh, yeah. Drop it, scum. Dead or alive. You're coming with me. Oh, here we go. Sensitivity is super low. Oh. Whoa. Gunplay feels pretty good though, to be fair. Oh, those headshots are super satisfying. But we can repair. Oh, if we hold circle, we can basically just repair. Oh, we do have a limited amount of repairs, like you can see in the bottom left there. Right, so even though we are Robocop, we can still die. Playing as Robocop, it's easy to feel... Oh, look at that shit. That was cool. Yeah, playing as Robocop, it's easy to think you're invincible, but we're definitely not invincible. I know we're only like five minutes into the game, but I'm already really loving this. Like just playing as Robocop, just they definitely seems like they've, they've got the feel of playing as Robocop down, you know? Oh, we even get the slow-mo breach Call of Duty style. <laughs> oh my God. Right, let's try this SMG out. I bet this has got no recoil either, because why would it? <laughs> it's so badass. Can I scan these guys as well then? Oh, oh my god, look at his... Oh god, what happened to him? Oh, we can grab them. Oh, I totally need to grab one of them. Oh, sugar. All right, don't kill one. I want to I wanna grab him. <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> Hell yeah. Then, while absolutely destroying everything that moves, I unlocked my first trophy. Oh, his hand moves a little bit with this, with the AK. It's done that much, but oh my god, we can we can pick monitors up and throw it at people, I think. Oh my god, hell yeah. Right, hold up, I'm totally doing that first though. Make sure we don't miss any stuff. Stolen handbag. Right, I totally want to throw this monitor at someone's face. These are old school monitors as well, so shit's heavy. <laughs> Boosh! Oh, we got it. Have we got a trophy? Strike out. Eliminate an enemy using a throwable object. Let's go. I'd love to see it. Oh, shit. Boosh! <laughs> That's so freaking cool. And during the same section, eliminated three enemies with an explosion. But not before admiring the destructible environments and doing another breach and clear. Oh my, the, look at the destruction as well. Yo, this is so freaking better than I thought it was going to be. Oh my god, I almost shot her. We got freaking badass gunplay. We can throw stuff. The sounds are amazing. We've got destructible environments. Hell yes. Look out below. Oh. Oh, 
Oh no, I think they killed the hostage. Or one of them at least. Thank Bro, I can throw explosives at them. <laughs> oh, we got a trophy for that as well. Nuke them. Eliminate three enemies with one explosive. Hell yeah. Then got myself to the newsroom and finished the first mission. One! Last chance, weirdo! Robocop, Rogue City. The roof of that building looked like a toilet seat. Oh yeah, night has just begun. Complete breaking news quest. With the twisted fire starter taken care of, I traveled back to the police station because during the second mission, isolated incident, you make your way to the firing range. Obviously, I couldn't pass up the chance to try my luck. So it was time to test out my shooting skills and show everyone why Robo is the best shooter in the West. Oh, in the police station at least. Boom, 139. Oh, targets are getting quicker now. 251. I think we just gotta destroy the target. I don't think we can actually get headshots. Oh, I finally missed one. 300 though, super cop. Scored 250 points at the shooting range, hell yeah. Oh, this guy is really good. Scored 200 points at the shooting range. And another one, dead on. Score 150 points. Hell yeah, that's three more trophies. I wonder if we need a higher score than what we just got though. Might as well try and get all of them now, if I can. All right, it looks like 250 was the highest score, so easy work for Robocop. Once done with that, we're headed back out into the streets of downtown. Now, this whole area was open for us to freely explore. So we took care of a few crimes, one of which involved a graffiti artist. Citizen, I'm ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man. Where are you going, bro? He's hidden the garbage. <laughs> Just let me off with a warning, will ya? I mean, this is the first time I'm finding him, so we'll it give him a warning. to warn you not to commit that or any violation again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'll do my best not to get caught again. <laughs> I'll do my best not to get caught again. You inspired the graffiti artist. Found some stolen goods. Oh, we got some more uh, stolen goods, which gave us a nice experience boost and issued a parking ticket. Obstruction of fire hydrant. Issue ticket. <laughs> One parking ticket is all it takes. Issue a ticket. Oh, we got a trophy as well. Uphold the law. Issue a ticket. Next, I continued on the main path and reached a cool ass looking arcade during mission four. I was tasked with entering the basement, so I made a grand entrance only Robocop could. Open the door. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Inside, I took out some goons and found a sneaky little secret button. And inside was some goodies. There's another secret button or something. Activates connected device. Oh, we got a trophy. No stone unturned. Find a secret area in the arcade. Wait, why did it even open? I heard it, but I don't see it. Right, Stay I need to find out where the guard. secret door opened. Wait, so what actually opened? Be around this way? Ah, here we go. It was this. Loads of stolen goods and a training disc. Oh, and another trophy. I'd buy that for a dollar. Find an OCP skill disc. I then found this guy's creepy hideout, did a little detective work, and solved a murder. Man's looking like an avatar. Ow! For fuck's sake, it hurts! Cleaning up the streets one criminal at a time. Ooh, we got a trophy as well. Hard boiled. Help Officer Kurtz and O'Neill solve a murder case. After that, I got back to doing what Robocop does best, blowing punks heads off. And I also finished mission four. Another fucking glitch. Nope. Dead or alive, Everything's ready. coming with me. Back complete on suits, final encore quest. And with that complete, I managed to grab myself a rank A in my evaluation. Basically, after you finish exploring a big area, you'll head back to the police station, and then you'll do this thing where you're given a grade depending on your performance. Getting an A rank is pretty easy, to be honest. Just make sure you do all of the side objectives, like issuing tickets for bad parking, littering, etc., and do all the side missions. All right, let's have a look at my evaluation. Hopefully we get better than a B. 
I did do all of the side stuff I could find, so we should get something a little bit better at least. I mean, we're getting loads of extra XP for stuff. A rank, let's go. Officer of the month. What's that? Score A on any evaluation. After the evaluation, I was handed my first custom PCB chip. These are used to upgrade your Auto 9 pistol. Robo, there's something I need to show you. Show me, bro. Take the PCB. As if it wasn't already powerful enough. You use nodes that you get from chests you find around the city while out on missions. They increase the gun's damage, fire rate, reload speed, all that kind of good stuff. You know how this works. There's a trophy. All adds up. Equip Auto 9's PCB with any chip. After messing around with my weapon chip upgrades, I used the skill points that I got from the last mission to max out my first stat. I went with deduction first because, well, it highlights stolen goods, hidden areas, and increases your experience that you get. Oh, another trophy. No Practice makes it perfect. Fully develop any skill. Solid. This will obviously help us improve even more skills later on in the game. So with some upgrades in my pocket, I was ready to head back out into the field of duty. So I got my ass over to the steel mill for mission six, where I came across a new set of thugs. This time it was bikers. These guys are quick, as you might imagine. It doesn't take many shots to take them out though. And doing this bagged me another trophy. <laughs> Live by the bike. It's like shoot the gas tank of a moving motorcycle. Uh, I don't think I shot it. I just kind of threw a bike at a bike, but I'll take the trophy. Minutes later, I head into a factory and this geezer runs at me with a helmet on, so I targeted something else. Jesus, he was a big guy, wasn't he? It was a trophy though. Zip this up. Shoot an enemy in a sensitive spot. Oh, like in the balls? The sh I guess I shot him in the balls. Moving further into the mission, I encountered another new enemy. This time it was sniper bikers. That's not something I thought I'd ever say, but here we are. Luckily, I also found myself a new weapon, an AUG with a scope. So I outsniped them, 1v1 me on Rust style. Even got some bad hit reg, proper Call of Duty style. I then found my own sniper for a proper 1v1 me bro. Nice. I then found myself competing against an ED-209, it even tried to cheat. Is he shooting at me? Robocop wins, hell yeah. You might be bigger and stronger, but I'm smarter. Later in the mission, I finally got my 1v1 match, it was super easy. Looks like we uh, are in for a boss fight. That's two for Robocop, zero for the big dopey robot. Over. There we go. And then finish the mission. Hey, there we go, 20 seconds to comply. Complete Street Vultures Turf Quest. There we go. That's another trophy. Completed another mission for an easy story trophy. Absolutely demolished these donkeys. Easy work for Robocop, earning us trophy number 19. Nice. Don't mess with the money. Complete the bank heist quest. Now during mission 15 called Shady Meeting, I dropped in to say hello and went to town on these. Over. Oh wait, that was someone else. Let's see you. In prison and the old man is on his way Ooh, we got a trophy. Fuck him. Complete ghosts from the past. Now, during mission 15, called the Shady Meeting, I dropped in to say hello on these guys and then went to town on these wish looking Robocops. Oh, 
Are we done yet? There we go. There can only be one. All old factory hostiles neutralized in under 10 minutes. Made my way into a prison that had fallen into chaos. After doing what Robo does best, we came face to face with the hardest enemy yet. These Merc dudes. Who's this? Merc's leader. Okay. So, I murked them. Jesus, I'm not joking, it did have a lot of health. That's slang for beating them. With that top quality explanation done, I completed the mission. And we got another trophy. Let's talk. Complete Wendell's confession quest. Can you please open the door? I'll open it for you, bro. After that, we found ourselves being hunted again by these mercs and had to escape a burning building. While making our way through though and taking out all of the mercs in the way who dared to show their face, I heard a faint sound in the distance. We need to move. Oh, the cat. Where's the cat? Here you I got you, kitty. Oh, we got a trophy as well. A real hero. Save a cat from the burning hotel. Oh shit, they got turrets now as well. So no crispy cat on the menu today. But moving on, I found myself in a dirty ass sewer. Honestly, not sure why I put that in the script. It's not going to be a clean ass sewer, is it? What the hell? Anyway, as I was making my way through it, I came across a remote turret. These can be hacked just like any good gaming turret can. All I needed was six points in the engineering skill. Hack the turret. Oh, nice. It's like some Deus Ex stuff. That's a series that needs to come back, Deus Ex. Was oh, we got a trophy for it as well. Maybe used against you. <laughs> Hack an enemy turret. Not long later, I finished another mission. Ooh, trophy. Cashing out. Complete the man himself quest. We're now getting super close to the end of the game. So I made my way to the under construction building, murked a few more knockoff Robocops, remember that slang, and sent this guy to the game over screen. Damn. GG, mate. Not arresting you anymore. Complete no way out. Then tied up a few loose ends and prepared myself for the final boss. Yep, there it is. Just as I thought. My number one guy. There we go. This seems to be a misunderstanding. Scrapyard or prison creep. Here we go. Oh, what the? You will not win this. Oh, God. Got him. There we go. Save him, leave him to die, kill him. Yeah, that was that was a good ending. Kind of like tied everything together. Nice shooting, son. Complete the game on any difficulty. So, game finished. Really fun. Looks like we missed one trophy. Uh, yep, just the one trophy. Good eyes, Murphy. Find a PCB for the Auto 9 in a secret area of the steel mill. For this last trophy, I needed to have three points in engineering. That allows us to start the train to open up the area. So, let's go grab it and wrap up this brilliant game. Oh, it's up there. To go up the ladder, okay. And then the secret area is here. There it is, this should be it, I think. 
Yep, there it is. Good eyes, Murphy. Find a PCB for the Auto 9 in the secret area of the steel mill, which means to serve and protect the Platinum has been earned. Acquire all of the trophies in Robocop Rogue City. Yeah, I really enjoyed this game. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe, and I'll catch you all on the next video.